Pusing saja tak boleh tarik keluar ni. What a migraine! That's what happened when you get too overwhelmed. Greetings and salutation. Today we are going to Mid Valley to check out the home living exhibition. This home expo is located at Mid Valley Exhibition Center (MVEC). This expo took place last week from the 2nd to the 4th of April. We are going to share our verdict in the end of the video whether a home expo like this can help you on your home improvement. You know, one good thing about Malaysia is that it has some of the biggest shopping malls in the entire world. Problem is, when you try to go somewhere, they can be very difficult to find. And you probably have to walk for a bit. Yeah, where are we going? Eh? Where is this place? I have no idea, <laughs> to be honest. No, I think we should ask somebody, right? Oh, I think we found our place. Check it out, guys. Here we go, baby. Successful. Nice. So they actually have a few entrance. They have entrance number one, two, and three. Seems rather big. Do you know what? Let's go check out house three first. To be honest, it's been quite a while since I've done anything to our current house our dream family bungalow house the whole idea of today's video is to get some motivation and inspiration going on because I started losing it if you guys have been following me, I've been cooking a lot so I wish to continue with the progress of my house those salespersons are really selling we really like this nice and luxurious curtain but I can't get my head around why they are so expensive they can cost thousands of ringgit for just a single panel what do you guys think? leave a comment below See, this is one thing I like about some of these home living exhibitions because when you build a house, there's all kinds of stuff that you need to prepare like sinks, kitchenery, your curtains, your bathroom wear, a lot of stuff and the best part is everything is situated at one place pretty convenient but the problem is sometimes it can get a little bit too overwhelming because you can't decide and before you know it, there's all of the salespeople trying to convince you to buy stuff that you probably don't need so guys, one tip about coming to this kind of place is to make sure that you know what you're going to get, okay? Make sure you know what you're looking for. You found brass, brass or stainless steel? Eh? Brass. Brass. Uh. Mixer. Eh? Personally, we go for specifications more so than brand. This way, you know exactly what you're paying for. In most cases, branded products usually come with good quality, but you never know. We are surveying for our dry kitchen faucet, something that has a wow factor. Like this one, looks big, bold and strong. <laughs> what are awesome features, you can do your chopping on top of the sink in style. If you like the video so far, don't forget to smash the like button. Alright guys, right now let's check out the second hall. Jump. The sofa looks very nice, although price-wise, nothing particularly huge on savings. Aluminium. Aluminium. Whoa, aluminium kitchen cabinet. I thought aluminium kitchen are more commonly found in restaurant. Kinda slick, but behind the door, you can see the rivet, which is kinda ugly. We are trying to find out more on how wardrobe is priced. Just like the kitchen cabinets, you have many options to choose from melamine, MDF, 4G, and Nyato wood. This package costs 50,000 ringgit that covers kitchen cabinets, wardrobe, shoe rack area, bar cabinet, and TV cabinet. If you need less or your measurement falls short, they will deduct and price accordingly. Nanti, are you being drawing? She draws really well. She didn't really need the actual picture to help. The specs of her product are really great too. Uh, what do you got? So they are above, solid. Above, solid. Now, before we proceed Hall 3 and share you guys our verdict whether a home expo like this is helpful, come join us eat lunch. We really can't think straight without food. Need energy if you want to spend money wisely. We are eating at TGI Friday. It's been a while though since we had nachos and salsa. 
only been about five minutes and we already finished the Doritos. It's kind of nice when it's really feelable. Nice. Okay, thank you very much. Going healthy today, guys. Mm. They even have avocado. I haven't had this in a while. This is probably equivalent to a Mexican fast food chain. I said the price in Malaysia is not quite like a fast food chain. Slightly on the higher side. It's still affordable. But you won't pay McDonald's or KFC in your price. Huh? Alright guys, we're going to do a swap contract. I'm going to try my beloved wife's pasta. Try and see if it's any good. Looks good though. Mm. There's a very smoky flavor. Yeah. Smoky beef. European or American pasta. With a hint of Mexican smokiness. Finally managed to finish my salad. There's still a lot more of tortilla chips though. And my wife, she could have finished the pasta as well. Probably gonna tap out this one though. Eh? <laughs> Alright guys, time to check out the door number three. Time for our verdict. The pro of going to this type of home expo is that number one, it's convenient and you practically have everything you need for home improvement. Warning though, it can be very overwhelming. Try not to get a headache. <laughs> number two, Sometimes you can get a great deal and lots of freebies. The con, however, is that number one, generally the promotion is not that huge. If you compare prices outside, they are pretty much similar. Number two, they always make you want to lock in prices, typically for a year, which is kind of good, but in my experience, after expiry, these prices don't really go up, or at least that much. If you decide to lock in prices, the down payment is usually 30%, then you're stuck with them. And it will suck if you end up with a key person, someone hard to work with, and you don't want to lose your down payment too. Remember guys, they are in a competitive business, they just want you to commit to them. In the end of the day, if you don't have time and you just want to get things done for your home improvement, these exhibitions can be very useful. Otherwise, do your own due diligence properly first and take your time surveying. Remember guys, home improvement is an investment and make sure you know what you're paying for with best execution. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below.